Hi Anand, it's Kevin here. Um, just wanted to make a short video, hopefully a short one, to share with you some figures in the uh, AdWord campaign and what your competitors are doing. And uh, I'm, ma I'm making a proposal to do a, a one month trial because I believe if we can get the one month data, we can really refine the most important demographics of the ad campaign, which we cannot, def we cannot um, refine in just seven days. It's just not enough data. The only data that we can refine within seven days is the keyword data. And I'll explain that in a second. So just a couple of definitions. First of all, when I make a, <coughs> when I make a re uh, search, London Limo Hire, there's these ads, of course. And this is position number one. This is position number two. And if there were three of these, which is there's a maximum of three, you'd have a position number three. That's the definition I just wanted to um, explain. Now, if we go into the, our Google AdWords account, we go into the Hire a Limo account, we go into All Campaigns, and you'll see some figures here. I'm not going to go into crazy stuff, but these are the number of the clicks that people made on our, on, our, on our ads. This is the number of times, the impression is the number of times uh, the ad is shown, um, and the click-through rate is one divided by the other and that click-through rate is 11.8%. Um, now, is that a good click-through rate? Yep, because the average is about 2.5%, so that's not bad. But really, that's not the important figure for if we're advertising tri in a traditional way, because the important figure is the number of conversions. Now, I'm not going to look at these conversions because these are wrong. Um, when I say wrong, they haven't, they haven't taken all the conversions into, into account because the pixels weren't ready, Google didn't do them in time, or they weren't working sometimes. I'm working with Google on that, but we can track it. We've tracked it, and we've got 87 that's in the report as well. We spent £544. Now, you've got to see these figures if you're in the all-time. You can adjust this, make sure that you're covering the whole range of the uh, Google ads that we did, 23rd to the, I think it was the 5th or 3rd, sorry, 3rd of August, but that covers it anyway. So there's where those figures are. Now, let's have a look what our what your competitors have been doing. You can see here all your competitors here, okay? And let's have a look at the performance. Listen, this is the impression share. This is the how many times your our ad has shown when it's been eligible. So out of a hundred percent, seventy our ads have been showing 70%, 74% of the time that they're eligible. That is a very high figure, and it is the highest of everybody here. So no one is getting the same efficiency as, uh, as I am. Now, they may have been done deliberately because they want to spread their um, 300 pounds or 200 pounds, and I'll share with you how much they're spending in a minute, over a month, or they just don't know how to do it. Now, if you are getting good conversion uh, cost per conversion, cost per lead, why wouldn't you get as many as possible? And so uh, I think we can go to two scenarios, um, whether they, they, they want to spend their money over the month or they, uh, or they don't know how to uh, if make their ads efficient, or they're created doing this because they can't get their conversion rate down and they just want to supplement their, their leads with a little bit of AdWords. And I believe they don't really understand what they are actually doing. They can't get it down. So let's go. But we'll work on both scenarios. So you can see that some of these are only showing, showing less than 10% of the time that they would be elected. In other words, they're, putting a, they're bidding for a keyword like London limo hire. And it's eligible to be up there. But everybody else beats them because they don't have the right efficiency and they don't have the right quality score, they don't have the right bid, or they just don't know what they're doing. Or they've done it, they're not going to bother doing that because they don't want, they want to show their ads sparingly and make that budget of 100 pounds or 300 pounds last the whole month. Okay, average position, if we look at this, you can see the average position here for us is 1.8, which is either the number one or two position, and everybody else is way below us. Now this could be that they're meaning to do that. The best position to be in 
for traditional Google AdWords is probably two and three because if you're number one it's going to be very expensive and you might get lots of clicks and not relevant clicks and you pay for the clicks but they don't come through they're just tire kickers or they're just rubbish okay so you're going to get a lot of rubbish clicking number one sometimes and so maybe and traditionally if you were doing traditional Google Ads um, yes I would say that number two or three position is about the place you want to be so that you don't get all these they don't get so many clicks um, and you get the rubbish with them and so this could be deliberate who knows for us we want to be in number one position because I'll show you in a second why um, overlap rate we're beating yeah. oh gosh. so this is basically is how often another advertiser ad received an impression in the same auction that you at your ad also received impression okay how often another ad received an impression in the same auction same bidding and look at this we're beating all of them so five percent of the time they outbid me or beat me and I beat them 95 percent of the time and so on and so forth and if I look at that 29 percent you know, see so that's great position I'm not going to bother with that top paid graph outranking so here I've outranked this the, the platinum by 74% of the time 71% of the time of those so really our performance is just totally beating everybody else and it could be because they don't want to spend you know $130 a day um, because they just can't justify that Let's go then to see um, a couple of these people because there's one company doing the same kind of strategy I am, and that is get this off um, LA Stretch. Okay, and I've got the data for this as well. Let's go to those quickly. Let's go to ours first. So for us, we had an ad spend of 544. Um, and 433 clicks. That gives a cost per click of 1.26 pounds. Number of leads is 87. Conversion rate is greater than 20%. Gives a cost per lead of 6.25 per lead. Now, this is how I know that that cost per lead, the cost per conversion is very good. Here it says the across the industries the average landing page conversion rate is 2.35%. But if you're in the top 25% of companies, you're converting at 5.31%. If you want to go into the top 10 companies, top 10% of companies, um, their landing page conversions are 11.4%. We're getting over 20%. And I know the reason why. It's because of uh, the landing page convertibility and the relevancy of the ad with our new system of Google Ads. I'll share that with you in a second. So let's have a look at um, A1 Stretch. They've been going for eight years, so they've experimented with this so many times that they've said, okay, they're spending £240 per month. <coughs> now, that may have not been last month. It may have been the last month before that. <coughs> Could be a couple of months delay, lag. But they spent £240 in a, in a month and they got 247 clicks. That's a click um, cost per click of 0.98. That's less than ours. Okay, let's have a conversion rate estimate at 10%. I doubt if they're gonna get better than 10%. I've seen their landing page, and as you know from here, 10%, they would be in the top 10% uh, <coughs> or top 25%. Uh, um, unlikely, but let's give them that. Let's give them that um, the benefit of the doubt. So they must have approximately 25 leads from that. We don't know, but that's what I'm guessing. So the approximate lead cost in this case would be 9.6. No wonder they don't want to do it all all the time. But with 9.6, if they have their own limos, you know, if they close one or two per one or two per, uh, per ten per ten inquiries, ten leads, they're going to get their money back. Um, but if they're converting at the same rate as we are, higher a limo, uh, higher a limo, that's how I call it, we're called how. Um, so if they're um, converting at the same rate, given the benefit of the doubt, let's say they're converting at 20% like me, which I doubt, um, their cost per lead will be 
and hours, or 15%, it will be 6.5. So hours, remember, is, six, is right now is 6.25. So I'm going to say that we can still get our leads down, but I doubt if they're doing this. Why wouldn't they want to do that all day long? Why wouldn't they want to completely get as many leads as possible? Maybe they don't know how. So, okay, LA Stretch, they're doing a little bit different from the traditional. They're trying to, looks like they're trying to do what we're doing is one, one ad, one keyword. And I'll share that in a second. So they've been going for nine years, so there's some practice of this. They spent in the recently 1,130 per month. They got 855 clicks. That's a cost per click of 1.32. That's above ours, which is 1.26. Okay, 1.32 pounds per, per click. Conversion rate, let's say, is 15%. That's way above the average, based on assumptions made from the Google Ads data. I've looked at that. So approximate maximum number of leads would be 128. Their cost per lead would then be at that great le uh, conversion rate of 8.8, .8, still way above our 6.5 or 6.25. If we said, okay, instead of giving 50%, let's give them Let's say that they're doing it 20%. The maximum, uh, the, the, the least uh, cost per lead is still 6.6, .6, still way above ours. So they haven't got it together yet. And they bet they're trying. They're obviously trying. They're spending quite a bit of money, 1,130. Still no way. But they can't see that if that they make, maybe they want to spend more money. Um, but they can't get their efficiency yet. They can't get their click-through rate because they don't maybe know how to. And it shows um, in that table that I, get, I showed you here. The, the LA stretch. They can't get their impression share up too much. They're still in position two. They can't get to number one. So it's because of relevancy. It's because of quality score. It's because of the bid and how they do that. And uh, maybe they're not so well informed of how to do that. I don't know. I'm just guessing, okay? Could be they mean to, meaning to do that. So let's have a quick look at, at why we're getting such great results. It's all to do with quality score. So here, normally the person at position one would be bidding the most. And the reason why we're getting a, we can get up there even though we're bidding lower we could be bidding lower than others it could this could be changed around like this is because of high quality score maximum bid two times the quality score if it's high would equal the ad rank okay now you could spend a lot more hopefully get to number one position but if your quality score is not good then that times that is still lower than that 20 and i'm only paying two that's why i want to get our maximum bid down um, and, and we need to do a trial for one month to do that and still be in that number one position at a lower cost than even number two, number three, number four. You can't really do this in traditional way of, of, of advertising in Google because you've got to have ad relevancy. Relevancy is the most important thing. And look at this. The Google chief economist said that 60% of Google quality score was determined by this click-through rate. Now, in traditional terms, the click-through rate is kind of irrelevant because you want to get the conversions right. But actually, if you have a high level of click-through rate, then you get this. Um, is the, uh, then you're going to get the quality score up, and that's what you want. Remember, that's what you want. You want this quality score as high as possible. And you can get that with high click-through rate. But if you get the high click-through rate, remember, you're going to get a lot of irrelevant clicks. So you've got to have your ad relevancy up, and you've got to have your a good landing page quality. And that's what we do when we do this this system. I mean, I'll show you in a second here. So this is the common practice. This is traditional ad work. 99% of advertisers group the keywords. So there's the campaign, which is our campaign. Then you have ad groups, and you have one ad group with many, many keywords in. Okay, And maybe you have another one, and maybe three. Probably most of these companies have one, maybe two. They group 
the keywords um, in those ad, word, ad groups, ad sets or something. They call it ad sets or ad groups. So you, that's how it's traditionally done. What we're doing is we're kind of 1% performance, if you like, one-to-one -one method. I'm going to have at one ad group with only one keyword. And the headline of that ad group is going to be the same as the keyword. The advert for this AdWord group is going to be the same as the keyword. And so I have hundreds and hundreds of ad groups um, with only one keyword per ad group. That makes that relevancy absolutely top. Because once when someone searches London limo hire, the ad actually says London limo hire, not hey uh, uh, something else. Let me give you an example. You could have limousine service. Your ad could say limousine service, and you have loads of keywords that will go to that ad because you're grouping them. That's traditional. So if you have um, someone types in London limousine. London limo hire, they come to an ad that says limousine hire and then their company name or whatever. See, that relevancy is not so high as if you see an ad with the same keyword that you've typed in. So your ad relevancy goes up, your click through rate is high because you're number one, um, you're not going to get so many bad clicks, and your cost per click or your bid can come down. That's what he's shown. Brilliant. It takes a lot of work to put that together, and like I said I've got I've got a software that does that. Um, it costs money to do that. Um, so on the an analyzing, there's no software for the analyzing. I think you may have got some uh, some misunderstanding on that. On the analyzing, on the day-to-day -day analyzing, on the seven day, there's no software. This is the where the software is when you make the ad. Okay. So let's go through again. So click-through rate plus ad factors. So it's the ad copy the search term to add relevancy so if someone searches limousine near me and they see an ad that says limousine near me which is what we're doing then they're going to more it's more relevant to them and that's what they're really looking for so most of the times when someone click uh, searches limousine near me you still get say limousine service and there it's not the relevancy is not so so good and so you're going to get higher uh, higher costs. So the geographic relevance is e to the ad, the long tail, I'm not going to go into this, hundred to thousands of keywords per account. That's what I do. Hun hundred to thousands to thousands. So I've got about 1,250 keywords with about four or five hundred different ad sets. The time of day is important, the day of the week. These are fundamental uh, things that we cannot adjust until one month. If we try to adjust the time of day, the week, the demographics and, and, and everything else, um, then it's too early. You've got to have a month's data to do that. What we're doing on a seven day process or weekly process is keyword refinement. Okay. Um, so all this gives great clip through, ad relevancy, and landing page. I think that's it. So that's the reason for our uh, we can really get a lot of efficiency and our conversion rate eventually or the conversion cost will we can get it right down if we have this month data let me just go to um, the ad again and show you here so these uh, so what I'm doing now I am actually on a seven day basis I'm adjusting the keyword, I'm adjusting the keyword uh, factors here. I look at what's costing me money here, I look at costs basically, and then I discover if we're getting conversions. So it is important to get these conversion figures as, much, as accurate as possible so we can analyze better. And if it's not, for example here, I've cut this one off because hey look, we're spending 17.22 pounds and we're only getting one conversion at 17 pounds per conversion. I just say, okay, forget that, um, and, and so forth. So I know how to, I know how to read this properly and really refine it and refine it. And I've got it right down. Well, one day it was 5.577, and the next, uh, the next refinement really is to do that every week, but also to then to do 
refinements on the location, on the ad schedule, on the devices, and one more, on the demographics. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the months, um, on a month basis. Yeah. I'm proposing a month uh, trial because after that month trial I'll have a one month's data and that's when I said we can do a real refinement and, and then really understand how low we can go and I believe we can get it down to I think you know five or even maybe four point five per lead. So I'm proposing that we do that and um, I'm bringing my management fee down from 500 to 300. I wouldn't be able to do an ad uh, trial for a month based on $50. So basically this trial is for a month. Um, I would recommend you do the 130 per day. Google will allow me to spend more. In fact, they wanted me to actually go increase it because they reckon they can get uh, more, more, more leads. Um, but I would say at minimum 130 per day plus my management fee of reduced management fee of 300 for the trial. We, uh, let's talk about that. Uh, and that's it. Have a great weekend. And, uh, sorry, have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye.